What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my first subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aquarius, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a um, free general oracle card reading for the month of June of 2022 for the sign of Aquarius. This can resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspects of your charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general oracle card reading. So it's very important to only take the messages that resonate. One may apply. Two may apply. Two plus may apply. None may apply. Only you know your personal situation and story, not anybody else. Okay. I did receive a couple channel messages in as I was meditating on your June of 2022's oracle card reading energy. The first one I heard, every dog has its day. That was the first one. The uh, second one I heard, an alcoholic is about to become very significant in an Aquarius' life soon. And the third one I heard, an Aquarius is about to start traveling soon. So you plug it in how it resonates in your own life, Aquarius. So every dog has its day. Uh, if you know, if you're not familiar with that phrase, it's basically, basically it sounds like it's about to be karma time for somebody be honest with you every dog has its day is basically what goes around comes around everybody gets their turn um at the karma wheel negative or positive and that's just the truth so um in this aspect i feel it's negative it could be you getting negative karma aquarius or somebody you're connected to getting negative karma only you know your story not anybody else um you have to plug it in how it resonates and then um an alcoholic is about to come significant in aquarius's life so, however, they're about to become significant. Um, it could be a family member. It could be a lover, a past lover, a neighbor, a co-worker, former co-worker, a community member, etc., etc., etc. Somebody in your life, alcoholic-wise, I don't feel it's you if this message applies for you, is about to become significant in your life. I feel it to be in a positive way or a negative way way only you know you're scoring out anybody else you plug it in how it resonates and then one of you guys is about to start going traveling soon so i feel that could be retirement energy or that could be like travel traveling for a job um or um taking maybe a home uh taking a business on the road or something of that nature oh my lord how that resonates um Maybe one of you guys is emotional over person, people, place, or situation, or somebody's emotional over you, or you have addictions, Aquarius, or somebody you're connected to has addictions. At least one of you guys has, is addicted to alcohol, I'll tell you that. So you plug it in how it resonates. Hope everybody is doing well today. Thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. I truly appreciate it. If you feel guided to donate, um, my PayPal link is High Priestess to Row 5. If you feel guided to donate, all donations are greatly appreciated. It helps support a single mama of two kids and her in one of her income streams. So thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm good. Okay, so we have key successful outcome to your problem. Star, guaranteed success. Wow, those two together are beautiful. And Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Uh, one of you guys, I feel one of you guys, you own a business and you're about to make some changes in your business is what I'm feeling here. Uh, for at least one of you guys, that's what I'm feeling. I feel you're a business owner or a co-owner of a business and you're about to... Um, make some changes maybe you're about to um really uh start really um looking into things maybe money maybe people maybe resources um for one stealing in a workplace is about to become very significant oh for one of you guys i heard stealing so theft theft in a workplace is about to become very significant so i think one of you guys I definitely feel one of you guys owns a business for sure. Whoever you are and how this applies. I think somebody's stealing from you. Um, and I think you're about to find this out or you already know this. Um, I think that's why you have the Fox card here. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Somebody's stealing from you um, if this resonates for you. And I think you're going to um, have success because you're about to find out who it is. Successful outcome to your problem. 
That's exactly what I think. According to the channel messages in the cards. You plug it in how it resonates, Aquarius. Spare messages here. I've got five Aquarius. Strategy, door to value. Spirit myth, okay. Phoenix. So I think one of you guys is about to be a phoenix rising from the ashes when you find out somebody's been stealing from your ass in a business situation. And I'm serious as a heart attack about that. You have the Phoenix card, fire sign energy. You're about to take on fire sign energy. About to be Phoenix rising from the ashes when you find out who the hell is stealing from you. It's either your business or for some, you could be a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO, possibly for some of you. You plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages, you have a sign of Aquarius. For some, it could be a fire sign stealing from you, possibly. Joy. Wow, this is looking good. So, for one of you guys, I definitely feel you're dealing with fire sign or you're taking on fire sign energy when you find out who the hell's stealing from you. Either stealing from your business or somebody else's business. Um, you're about to take on the phoenix rising from the ashes. You're about to do it. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You're either dealing with fire sign, about to be dealing with fire sign, or you're about to take on fire sign energy. If you are, they have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, and Midhaven, Jupiter charts, if you are. Wow. Number 21 or 31 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 21 or 31, it could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day birth number, any other significant number in one's life. 21, 31, Phoenix. For one, you're about to be a Phoenix rising from the ashes. For Another, it's someone you're connected to. A very, very, very strong feminine energy. About to rise in a huge way. She has a business. For some of these feminine energies, they have two plus businesses. Okay, so you play in how it resonates. So for some of you guys, you're about to rise from the ashes. You're about to rise from the ashes. You're about to be like a phoenix rising from the ashes. You're about to rise, baby. Um, whether you have a business or not. Um, whether you have a business and you're about to catch somebody stealing in your business or you are a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO, and you're about to catch somebody stealing, or it's this other person connected to you, Fem Energy, that's very, very, very strong. And she's about to, she has either has one business or two plus businesses and she's about to rise from the ashes, like a phoenix rising from the freaking ashes. How that resonates. Wow, man. That's beautiful. It really is beautiful. Key successful outcome to your problem. I think this is one of you guys about to find the theft either in your business or a business you work for possibly. For at least one. One Aquarius is about to deliver very important information, useful information to someone they feel they should have delivered it to a long time ago. They're about to do it. It's about to help this person out in a huge way. Okay, I heard one Aquarius is about to deliver very important, useful information to someone they feel they should have delivered it to a long time ago. It's about to help them out in a huge way. So I think that's about to be a successful outcome to your problem because I think it's about to, I think for some of you guys, you're in regret and it's going to make you feel better doing this. For some, it could be a successful outcome to this other person's problem because you know, I think they need the information. I think they need it or they really could use it. However, that resonates in your life. 
Um, and that could be you rising from the ashes. And I think for some, you are blackmailed not to do this. And for some, it could be this other person rising from the ashes. When you deliver them, whatever it is, it's important. It's very important. So it's going to help them rise from the ashes. Wow. Okay. Guaranteed success. A star is rising. For some it's you, for some it's someone connected to you. Intuitively you know this. And it's about to happen soon. Okay. Heard a star is rising. For some of the star status, star energy, etc., etc., etc. For some it's you, Aquarius. So congratulations. And that's your energy, star energy. For some, it's someone you're connected to. And I heard um, intuitively, you know they're about to rise. You know they're about to rise, like a phoenix rising from the ashes, whether they're a fire sign or not. And um, it's about to happen. It's about to happen. It sounds like people have been trying to stop this and stop it and stop it and stop it. But it sounds like the universe is about to make it happen, whether people want it to or not, basically. Um, for some, it's you. For some, it's another person connected to you in some shape, form, or fashion, either current energy, recent past energy, or past energy, how that resonates. So success, star card, energy here, um, whether it's you, Aquarius, or somebody you're connected to. And for some, this person rising, like a phoenix, phoenix rising from the ashes, could help you in some shape, form, or fashion, possibly for some. For some, maybe not. Um, however, you're connected to this person. Fox, shrewdness, and resourcefulness, especially in business. A very low vibrational Aquarius is about to get in uh, way over her head, feminine energy. She has been putting sex magic on a masculine water sign. It seems great, but it's about to blow up in a huge, huge, huge way. Know this. Oh, Lord. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, so low vibrational Aquarian Fem energy in here. So whoever this low vibrational Aquarian feminine energy is, I heard she's been putting sex magic on a um, on a water sign masculine. So a Cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine energy. It sounds like she's obviously been doing it for strategic reasons. Obviously, she wants to be with him sexually, obviously. And he she wants him to want her sexually. Um, but I heard it's about to backfire in a huge freaking way um, that basically she got in over her head. She got in over her head. She basically don't know what she's dealing with. For some, this um, this masculine water sign could be an alcoholic possibly for some because i heard for some of you guys you're about to start dealing with alcoholic for some maybe not but she's definitely is low vibrational and she uses dark arts to get what she wants um and it sounds like it's about to backfire on her ass in a huge way and that could be the guaranteed success too for maybe high vibrational aquarius is about to see this karma for this low vibrational um feminine aquarius putting sex magic on folks it's a uh Cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine energy, she's putting it on. Uh, it's about to backfire. I heard she's about to get in over her head. She's about to get in over her head. And basically, it sounds like it's going to cause more pro. It's going to cause way more problems than success there. Than, can, than the key to successful outcome and problem. It's going to cause problems. Well, because every, every time you do black magic, it always backfires. Sometimes it takes a while, but it always freaking backfires. Just period, point blank. Fox, shrewdness, and resourcefulness, especially in business. And Aquarius is really cutting back and really about to start really 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 looking into their employees really looking into them some you are a position of authority some you are the owner of the business and you are about to be shocked at what you find and you're not going to like it oh lord you plug it in how it resonates aquarius so for some of you guys your position is authority for some you are the owner of the business and I, I told you guys in here earlier i was feeling that but you plug it in how it resonates um 
however that resonates though, um, I heard you, for some you're about to, you're going to start looking to the employees in your business, whether you are a manager, boss, supervisor, CEO of this company, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, or you are actually the owner or co-owner of this business. I heard you're about to be shocked at what you find and you're not going to like it. So it sounds like you're about to look into records. You're about to look into, um, invoices. You're about to look into, um, maybe clock in and out times, maybe hours worked, maybe times they've clocked in or they clocked out. Um, maybe video camera evidence um if it's a public space which it sounds like it is if it's your business or a company um you're really about to start doing some investigating either in your company if you own or co-own the business or somebody else's um if you are a manager boss ceo or supervisor at a corporation or a company how that resonates I heard you're not going to like what you find so I think that's the shrewdness um, and resourcefulness, especially in business. You're not going to like what you find. So I think you're about to make some changes and that's going to be to the successful outcome to your problem. And it's going to give you happiness. Whoa, happiness. Whoa, <laughs> happiness when you uh, make these changes. That's what I feel. But you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I think one of you guys has been distracted or you're about to have distractions because <laughs> all the card craziness. You plug it in, how it resonates. And that could be you rising from the ashes, try, fixing, for some, I feel you're about to fix a failing business. And I'm just serious. You're about to, I think your business is going down or a business is going down and you're about to help fix a failing business or fix your business. Um, and one of you guys definitely has a thief in your midst. Period, point blank, bar none. You definitely have a thief in your midst, whether you are a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO, or it is your business or you co-own the business. And I'm just being straight up with you. Whoever you are and however that applies. But it sounds like you're about to take action. But only you know your story, not anybody else. Strategy. A significant plan is about to be formed. Okay, I heard a significant plan is about to be formed. So strategy, energy, a significant plan is about to be formed. So you're about to form a significant plan, I'm feeling, if this resonates for you, to either help your declining business, because somebody's got a thief up in there, just saying, um, or fix help fix the company's declining business. What, um, However that resonates, um, We've got declining business energy all up in here, whether it's a corporation you work for. And I don't feel you're that funky donkey ass family I was pulling in yesterday with the Daily Tea that strategically, um, if this resonates for you, I don't feel you're that funky ass family that strategically implants family members in a corporation to get everybody up into like managerial or supervisor or CEO as type positions um, strategically for the family. Um, I feel you're somebody else, at least God, I hope so. But a plan is about to be formulated. How, whatever that plan is and however that resonates in one's life, you plug it in how it resonates. One very low vibrational Aquarius was stalking a feminine energy through a hidden camera in the past. They are about to start experiencing extreme, extreme negative karma in their life extreme some hair loss some severe sexual drive some a bitcoin count is about to be a, a drain some a break-in and video camera footage will not catch it Oh my Lord, you plug it in how it resonates. Oh my Lord. So if this resonates for you, Aquarius, you're a low vibrational Aquarius. And um, I heard you're about to start experiencing, you voyeur through a hidden camera in the past of feminine energy, whoever you are. You voyeur through a hidden camera in the past of feminine energy. 
But I heard basically um, negative heavy karma is about to come for you if this resonates for you. You can be masculine or feminine, whoever you are and have this applies. For some, it's severe hair loss. So I'm feeling maybe, you know, alopecia, but I'm feeling on the head. Um, for some, it could be other areas, but I don't know why you'd be complaining if it was coming off your pubes or your armpits or what have you. I mean, I wouldn't be complaining about that. I think it's going to be your head. Um, baldness is what I'm feeling, like alopecia, like just saying, just saying. Uh, masculine or feminine, because fems can um, experience severe baldness too. And that's just the truth for overall. Um, that's the truth. So I feel you can be masculine or feminine, severe hair loss. For some, a break-in that's um, going to occur, it sounds like in your home or a home you own or something or some kind of property or business or something connected to you. And I heard video camera footage is not going to catch it. So you plug it in, how it resonates. For some, severe decrease in sexual drive. So, you know, um, maybe maybe you're currently taking Viagra. Maybe you're taking Cialis. Or maybe you need Viagra. Or maybe you need Cialis. I mean, it sounds like you, and you'd be masculine or feminine. I mean, the Viagra and Cialis would be masculine. But it's either eh or like dry like the Sahara Desert. Um, Sahara Desert. However that resonates. I mean, like, I'm thinking extreme vaginal dryness if it's a female or just don't want nobody to touch me. Like maybe they're going in menopause or premenopause or they're young and they just don't want nobody touching them. I don't know. Um, or a masculine and they're, they just can't get it up. I mean, how that resonates in one's life? And somebody's uh, Bitcoin account is about to get drained. So, I feel it's an Aquarius, low vibrational Aquarius that voyeured through. Uh, I heard they stalk this feminine energy through a freaking hidden camera. So for a hot ass minute, they stalk this feminine energy through a hidden camera, voyeur camera, for strategic reasons. Um, to copy her, to copy her and steal her energy. But it is about to seriously backfire in a huge way. Seriously. Okay, I heard to copy her and steal her energy, but it's about to seriously backfire in a huge way. So the reason you low, low, low vibrational Aquarius stalked and voyeured this femme energy in the past, I heard was to um, copy her. So to mimic her, maybe doppelgang her for some of you guys. Um, maybe copy her moves, copy her energy, and to suck her energy. But I heard now, it's, it sounds like the camera's been shut down or it's been removed or... What have you, energy's now balancing out the universe and now karma time, basically. So maybe you're going to make strategic decisions to do something about if, you, if you're if you a masculine and you're, maybe you're going to go get e, um, Viagra or Cialis or, or maybe you're just going to take a break from sex. I mean, I don't know if it's the one about to just, you know, experience severe decrease in sexual drive. Um, Bitcoin account. However you handle that. Um, the, al the alopecia, the severe hair loss, just saying, just saying, yikes. And um, what was the other one? There was another one too. Um, whatever the other one was, you plug it in how it resonates. And to one particular Aquarius, oh, hold on. And to one particular Aquarius, Um, a masculine water sign has been telling you that a feminine fire sign gave him a very serious STD, but that's not the truth. Know that a feminine water sign did this. Oh my God. Wow. He has actually never had sex with her. Know this. Oh, my. oh God, this is getting worse. Oh. So if this resonates with you, you're an Aquarius, masculine or feminine Aquarius, and it sounds like a low vibrational water sign has been telling you that, um, now he's telling you this for strategic reasons. I just want to say that there's a reason he's telling you this. I don't know. Maybe, uh, I don't know why the hell he's telling you this, but there's a strategic reason why he's telling you that a feminine water, uh, I heard he's telling you a femme fire sign. So a femme Aries Leo Sagittarius femme gave him a very serious STD. Now, I didn't hear what kind of very serious STD it was, but I feel it could be like HIV or AIDS or trick or um, herpes or uh, warts or something like that. Um, how about that resonates in one's STD life? Um, I don't have an STD. I've only had one in my life. 
Like I went and got it treated about six years ago. I hadn't had one since. I hadn't even had sex in three years. So whoever this person is and however they resonate in their STD life is what I'm trying to say. I'm not on up and up with STDs, um, nor do I want to be. But there's a reason he's telling you this low vibrational water sign, low vibrational Cancer Pisces Scorpio told you that this feminine Aries Leo Sag them, I feel it's this person right here, gave you, I mean, gave him this very serious STD, whatever it is. And I gave you the examples of what I thought it could be, but I heard that's not the case. It's not the truth. It was actually a feminine water sign that gave it to him, not the femme fire sign. I heard he actually has never even had sex with a feminine fire sign. So he's never even had sex with the person he's telling you that gave him this very serious STD. What? Like, what, 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 what? That makes no, like, no freaking sense. And that's just the truth. So, but there's a reason he's lying to you, is what I'm saying. Why the ever the hell he's lying to you? I don't know. This shit just blows my mind sometimes. And I'm just being for real. Be straight up with your damn partner or don't have a partner. It's just that freaking simple. Um... So whoever this person is and how they apply it. So very low, low vibrational Cancer Pisces Scorpio. They could have Cancer Pisces Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Moon, Name, or Jupiter charts. That resonates. But I heard he never even had, he's never even had sex, man, with fire sign them. Whoever this person is, he's saying that gave him this very serious STD. He's never even had sex with her. So how the hell could he, um, she give it to him if they never even damn had sex? She couldn't. That's, that's how. Just saying. I mean. I heard it was a femme water sign that gave it to him, not a femme fire sign. So a Cancer Pisces Scorpio feminine actually gave him this very serious STD, not the fire sign femme because he's never even had sex with her. So that's at least for one of you guys. Maybe it's going to make you happy when you find this out. Maybe you're, for some of you guys, you're interested. I think for some, you're, um, you're romantically interested or sexually interested in this feminine fire sign. Um, but there's a reason he's telling you that she that the Femme Fire sign gave him this STD. And I think it's to steer you away from her um, sexually. But in reality, he's never had sex with her. I think for some, it's going to make you happy. That's fucking crazy is what that is. And I'm just being serious. This person needs to be, have a mini mental, mini mental evaluation is what they need. And I'm just serious. Door to value. Reward money is about to become very significant in Aquarius's life. For some, you will get a small reward for doing the right thing. For one of you, you're about to be connected to someone that's about to get a very, very, very large reward for their work over the years. Very useful work over the years. For one, you're about to help make this happen. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. This is beautiful. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. For, so for some of you guys, some kind of reward energy. For some of you guys, you're about to get a small reward, I heard. It sounds like a cash reward, door to value. For um, some, some kind of information you're about to provide or some kind of effort you're about to um, put in in some shape, form, or fashion in the universe. And it's going to provide you a small reward. It sound, I heard for doing the right thing. So you're about to get some kind of monetary small re um, reward. Um, it could be from one person, several people, an agency, a group, etc., etc., etc. Plug it in how it resonates, but it's for doing the right thing. So it sounds like you didn't have to do this right thing, but you decided to do it, and you're going to some kind of small reward in the universe in the form of some kind of money is about to come to you for some of you guys. For some. You're about, you're about to be connected to someone that's about to get a very, very, very large, sounds like cash monetary reward, heard for their work over the years. So it's some kind of effort and positive manifestory effort they have been putting into the universe, it sounds like for years, and they haven't been either compensated correctly for it or not compensated at all for it, but I heard it's really, really helped. It sounds like it's helped the universe in many ways. So they're about to get a very, very, very large sounds like monetary reward for it, and it sounds like they should. I heard for one, you're going to be shocked. 
and one of you guys, you're going to help this person get this very large monetary reward for the very positive work they're put, they have put out in the universe for years. So you have to plug yourself into the situations, however you resonate. If you do apply, don't force anything that doesn't fit, but there's three different categories there. Okay. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. If you do that's that, those are all pretty beautiful, to be honest, all three of those, they're really beautiful. That's, um, that's positive copacetic energy into the universe. Um, doing something you didn't have to do and you're going to get small monetary reward for it. I'm feeling like maybe 20 bucks, a hundred bucks, maybe 200 bucks, something like that. The very, very, very large reward. I don't, I didn't hear how much, but I'm just telling you estimated the very, very large one. I don't know how much that's going to be, uh, man. I don't know. Um, I'm presuming maybe like 50 G's, a hundred G's, maybe, a, I don't know, 500 G's. It's whatever the hell it is for some, it might be more than that. But it's very, very large, I'll tell you that. So I'm thinking maybe 50 Gs, 100 Gs, 500 Gs, maybe a meal for some. You plug in and how it resonates. But the small one, I'm thinking like 20 bucks, 40 bucks, 100 bucks, 200 bucks, something like that. And in particular, Aquarius is about to really realize their value through many series of chain of events. One Aquarius is about to move out of state. Oh, wow. Okay. So you go with your bad self. And one of you guys is about to uh, realize your value. So Aquarius, if this message applies for you, you're about to, it sounds like, have a wake-up call soon inside yourself and realize your value, what you're worth, your daughter value, your, your, your worth. And I heard it's going to cause you basically to move out of state. So your strategy, after you realize your worth, your door to value, is it sounds like is you about to move out of state. Um, and whatever works for whoever. I mean, whatever, whatever works for you and makes you happy. Um, if it's going to make you happy, and um, it sounds like in the money department, you're about to realize your worth. I don't think you're getting paid correctly is what I think. I don't think you're getting paid correctly, and I think you're about to realize this. And um, you're about to make plans to move out of state to another state that's going to pay you correctly. Is what I feel. But you plug it in how it resonates. And I feel you're going to have a uh, successful outcome to your problem and guaranteed success once you realize your worth. I think you're putting unnecessary energy and time and effort into people that don't see your worth and value and just like to use you. And you're about to wake up and realize either you're not getting paid enough or you're putting unnecessary time and effort around people that don't. I appreciate your value and you're about to freaking hightail it out of state. You go with your bad self if that resonates for you. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Joy. A younger high vibrational water sign masculine is about to tell an Aquarius their feelings on a feminine energy. This feminine energy really makes them happy. You're not going to like this. Know this. But in the end, this masculine water sign is going to do what he wants to do. And intuitively, you know this too. Whew. So you plug in how it resonates, Aquarius. Holy crap. So younger, um, high vibrational water sign masculine energy. Whoever this person is. He's a younger, um, high vibrational water sign masculine energy. I feel like he could be 35 or below. Um, who's younger in the pro, I deem as 35 or below. But you plug it in how it resonates. For some, he could be 36, 37, 38. I don't know. You plug in how it resonates. But he is younger-esque. I don't think he's like 60 or 55. You know what I'm saying? But I heard he's about to um, tell you that uh, um, feminine energy makes him very happy. So she brings him joy, brings him happiness. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Um, and basically I heard you're not gonna like it. You're not gonna like it, but you're highly intuitive, whoever that message is for. And I heard basically you're going to, um, that, you know, he's going to do what he's going to, uh, that he, he's going to do what he wants to do anyways, regardless of your opinion. So, um, and you're right. He is. And you're right. He is, is what I just heard. And you're right. He is. So, um, 
you plug it in how it resonates Aquarius so whoever this younger water sign masculine is to you I feel he could be a lover a former lover a family member a community member a neighbor a co-worker former co-worker blase 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 whoever this person is in your life um and how he resonates but it's some femme energy out in the universe that makes him very happy I think she makes him laugh or she makes him smile. It's either a friend energy in how she makes him happy or he wants to be with her in like a relationship. I don't feel sex. I mean, I don't feel this is sexual is what I'm trying to say. Now, he may be sexually attracted to her, but I think this is more than sexual is what I'm trying to say. Way, way, way more than sexual. Way more. Ooh, okay, I heard way, way, way more than sexual, way more. So this is definitely way more than sexual. So um, I think he is sexually attracted to this feminine energy. Just absolutely bar none. But it's way more than sexual. I think there's mental attraction here, physical attraction, obviously, sexual attraction, obviously. But mental stimulation, and um, I think he can have a conversation with her. I think he can laugh with her. I think she has a good personality. Um, and I, he knows all this. He knows all this. Um, and, um, he's going to do what he wants to do and you know, he's going to do what he wants to do. And you're right. He is, is what I heard. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So basically you're not going to like that. He's about to come tell you this, whoever you are and how you apply to this younger water sign, masculine energy. Cause I don't think you like her. I don't think you like her for some, you could be jealous of her for some, you just could be spiteful and malicious to her for some, you, or for some, maybe she's done something to you. Hell, I don't know, but there's a reason you don't like her ass. So, why ever you don't like her, um, I don't feel she's low vibrational. I, I didn't hear she wasn't, but I don't feel she is. So, whoever you are, if this message applies, I don't feel she's low vibrational. Um, I really don't. In some of these situations, poss she possibly could be. But I'm feeling in some of these, they're, she's not. And you just don't want these two together um, for some strange reason. But... I heard he's going to do what he wants to do anyway, so I think he's going to reach out to her, contact her, or go see her, whether it's a friend um, situation or a or he wants to be more than friends. However that resonates and applies. It's a younger, water sign, masculine energy. I heard he's high vibrational. So he treats people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, integrity, value, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. He could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and a Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Wolf, Moon, and Henry, Jupiter charts. It's going to give him joy, but it's going to give you joy reversed, I'm feeling, Aquarius, unless you warm up to the idea of him communicating with her. Um, however, that resonates and applies in one's life there, okay? Okay, I didn't. I didn't hear anything else. All right, you guys. Oh, actually, I feel guided to pull one kipper. I do feel guided to pull a kipper. A very significant core situation is about to speed up in a huge way. One Aquarius does not see how this is a good thing, but after it's completed and done, you're about to see it's about to be a very good thing for you. Everybody can finally move on. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, so I heard um, a very significant core situation is about to, um, sounds like, come um, come up soon. Come up soon, complete, complete, uh, go to trial, go to the courthouse, what have you. It's about to come up soon. I heard you didn't, um, You. it sounds like you don't want this core situation to come up. It sounds like maybe you want to delay it out or stagnate it or keep it going or what have you. Um how that resonates and applies or you just don't or maybe you're waiting on some kind of information or somebody to do something wrong or something how that resonates i'm not sure why you want to keep it keep keep it going unless you work in the legal sector or you're gaining monetary money off this poor situation right now or um somebody's trying to find some evidence on somebody and they haven't found it yet how that resonates but however that resonates, um, I heard it's about to speed up whether you want it to or not. It's about to speed up whether you want it to or not. And I heard you don't see that it's a good thing for you right now. But after the core situation completely, finally completes, you're going to see it's a very good thing for you. You'll be able to move on. So I think it's keeping you stagnated right now too. But I think you're also gaining something from it as well. 
Um, but just because you're gaining something from this court situation right now doesn't mean that you, especially if you work in the legal sector in some shape or fashion, that you're not going to have other legal cases come come about. You're not going to have other things come about. You, and you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, so you plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Number 35 or 9 could be very significant numbers in one's life, too. 35 or 9. Um, it could be any significant number in one's life. We have 21, 31, 35, 9. Also, the, the, the jewelry could be, um, you're not seeing this court situation now that it's going to be a good thing for you when it completes. But once it completes, I think you're going to be happy about it. Um, actually, I heard you will be happy about it. So you will be, you'll be happy, happy, joy, joy. Like Ren and Stippy, man. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Just saying, if you are familiar with Ren and Sippy, man, just saying. I know some of you young bucks don't know who the hell Ren and Sippy is, but they're the bomb.com. Just saying. Pathway and change. So 555 energy. I heard there was change coming in here. There's change all over the place in here. Um, and pathway open. So somebody in this core situation, their pathway is about to be open soon. And then your pathway is going to be open when the court case completes too. So it sounds like everybody's going to win in this. Everybody's pathway is about to be open after this court situation. Everybody freaking wins in this. Let everybody hashtag live free, man, if they deserve to hashtag live free. Just saying, just saying. That's the way I look at it. With the change, the 555 energy. Pathway. An Aquarius is about to hear about a drive-by shooting soon. It's about to shock the hell out of them. Someone is about to witness this. And, it, and they will agree to be a witness. Know this. Oh, my Lord. Somebody's about to witness a drive-by shooting soon. Um, uh, wow. A drive-by shooting. Uh, dear God. I know those kind of things exist. I know the neighborhood my kids live in right now, unfortunately. There's shootings up in that neighborhood all the damn time. And I feel, I hate that my kids even reside in that neighborhood right now. But I can't control that. But I know they exist is what I'm saying. Uh, and that's why I'm glad I live in a very peaceful neighborhood with no drive-by shootings. And that's just the damn truth. But whoever this is for, there's about to be a significant drive-by shooting. But somebody's about to witness, witness this drive-by shooting. If this applies for you, Aquarius, I don't feel it's you that's about to drive-by shoot somebody. Or um, I don't feel you're about to be the shooter or shooter or accomplice or anything like that. Um, I don't even feel you're about to be the witness here. But uh, I heard you're about to hear about this, though. Um, and somebody will witness it. They will witness the drive-by shooting. I, he I heard they will agree to test. It sounds like they're going to agree to testify in the court of law about the um the drive-by shooting so pathway open um maybe for some of you i feel you might work in the legal sector and you're about to deal with this person with this witness maybe for some you're going to put them put them in the witness protection program to protect their ass because they were a witness maybe this is a huge case and um they need to be put in the witness protection program possibly um because people know they witnessed this drive-by shooting Possibly, but only you know you're showing anybody else. But I think you're about to create a pathway open for the um, person. I think you're maybe about to protect the person that witnessed the drive-by shooting for some of you guys. Um, possibly. Or at least I hope so. Um, and pathway open to the case. Because there's going to be a, at least one witness in this situation. For some, it could be two plus. But there's at least going to be one witness. And I heard they will agree to testify. So... It sounds like it's going to be a very serious um, trial coming up soon. And I'm just being serious. That sounds like it's going to be a very serious trial coming up soon. But the witness is going, or witnesses maybe in some cases, is going to agree to testify. So that's beautiful. And I also feel this might be witness protection program for that person or people too, possibly. Change.
Many changes coming. And one significant date very soon. For one, you're going to go on a date. For one, somebody else is about to go on a date. For some, you're going to be happy about this date. For some, you're not. Okay. Many changes coming soon. A lot of date energy. For some of you guys, you're about to go on a date. For some, somebody else is about to go on a date. For some of the ones that are or the other people, that's not you, Aquarius, that's about to go on the date. I heard for some of you guys, you're going to be happy about the people that are about to go on the date. For some, you're not going to be happy. So only you know your story, not anybody else. For some, I feel it could be your exes about to go out, um, start dating around, which that's normal, just saying. After divorces or breakups or whatever, you guys, that's normal, just saying, just saying. Um, for anybody who doesn't know that, um, trust me, hashtag single mom life for a long ass time i've dated for many years it, it's, it's freaking a normal man just if you might not know that but yeah so um you're gonna be happy about it for some of you guys for some of you not you're not gonna be happy so i feel it might be an ex or um an ex-spouse or or somebody you wanted to date or what have you um however that resonates but you know we all live and learn and we move on and that's just the truth if somebody doesn't want to be with you they don't want to be with you um i've had to live, live and learn that in life everybody does but you live and learn and you grow and you just move the hell on and you learn your worth. Okay. You don't want to be with me. Then I'll go out and I'll make the best of my damn self. And you're going to wish you wanted to be with my ass down the line. And that's just the damn truth, you know? So many changes coming, many changes. Let me see if I hear anything else. A significant internet business is about to take off. Take off in a very positive way. Okay, I heard a significant internet business is about to take off. Take off in a very positive way. So, um, some kind of significant internet business about to take off in a very positive way. So, that's the change as well. So, it could be your internet business or somebody you're connected to's internet business. Um, for some, it could be your um, Phoenix Rising person about to internet business about to take off for some it could be you internet business about to take off um you plug it in how it resonates aquarius okay we're done we're done all right i love you guys so much everybody make wonderful choices and namaste